Ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <sighs> I hope you are well. Today we are looking at a video my illustrious moderator Chara sent me. Mm. This is Libromancer Voices Voice. Now, as many of you know, I am a gigantic ritual stand. If you're wondering why I'm talking this way, I just, I had a tonsil stone in the back of my throat hurting, and I tried to push it out, and I damn near almost made my throat throw up. That's so why I'm talking this way, and my eyes are watering. But, we're going to take a look at this deck and see how it kind of fits together. I know how to play Libromancer, and I know how to play Voiceless Voice, kind of, both, for sort of, but we'll just see what ends up happening, shall we? Alright, so they start with Emergency Teleport and get the level 3 Libro, get, and get the, uh, is that one there? Let's look at the link story. Alright, the, 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 the thing that searches the field spell. For those who don't know what the field spell does, it's kind of nutty. It's a searcher, and it also is an on-field ritual spell, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> it says the level 4 to hand. Using Benton as material, uh, you can show the Benton to summon it, so they can show a ritual monster will go, and then a ritual summon a level 6 Doom Broker using the Benton as material, getting a Diviner of the Herald, because they haven't used a normal summon this turn, that's very funny. I use the level 3 in level 2 to get into a Sprite Elf, I, I understand that, I don't know if there's something that's worth sending, and now they actually do that brilliant, getting the Diviner to Herald of Grave, Sacrificing the the diviner again to get out the level four ritual. We're all we were all almost completely on it this year, and then the, the diviner is how you get to low. So smart. Lowe's gets his field spell out. Then we get the level six Libromancer that's not a ritual out. Uh, use that to get go into Ivy Mascarena. Brilliant. Use the level six virtual voice versus voice thing to get the thing out of the Voice voice shit. Now we have a Skull Guardian, a Low Out, and a Dynamoto. Impressive! Now, granted, the only problem I see with this board at present is Low isn't on board, so while Guardian is a big ass bingus, its negate is not live, and it's, neither is its protection. Um. I don't know if that. I don't think that's like a great spot to be. I understand, like, for funsies and stuff, having out this, this the main deck Saravis is worth it in that situation. But may, but I think maybe the cards that they got out were like I guess that important. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so they the puns on super heavy. They activate Saravis, Dynamoto in sequence. Circling back the uh, the doom from grave, getting out the Sarvis. Okay, now and that gets out low. Low becomes live. They use called by the grave. They use the Libermancer intervention that negates the called by. Okay, so now so we have so a lot of things are live now. So low activates getting presumably the trap out if actually maybe not the trap getting the other getting the other continuous might allow them to you know do some more shenanigans maybe get the level four back on the field they activate the level four of main deck monster in sequence to get the uh the beater for libromancer super heavy continues to do super heavy things they're just now waiting for a chance to pop too oh my god that's electrolyte and that is a negate if i've ever seen a special summon if i've ever seen one now, granted, that was against Super Heavy. I wonder, like, how pertinent, like, that is going to do, you know. Super Heavy is not is by no means the deck it used to be in, in Master Duel. Now, make no mistake, I want to know, is this less as or more busted than Pure Voiceless Voice? Because running Pure Voiceless Voice is... You can run a lot of non-engine in that bitch, and that usually will get you through. But if Libromancer is able to like make a more resilient board, as well as a, you know, make your lines uh, like be able to play through some bullshit, we'll see. All right, so we're going against U Bell. All right, so this is a good test. So Voiceless Voice, in my experience, I've had a little trouble as a Voiceless Voice player going against U Bell. 
there's not a whole ton of outs. Like, there's, like, a lot of it is, like, negation, a lot of it is targeted or special summon prevention, but most of the your things that you're going to be doing to get rid of stuff is usually in your non-engine kit. So, Voice of Voice does not really have too, too much outside of the trap of getting rid of things, and even then, like, that there's only takes a little bit of setup to get them into rotation multiple times. So, I'm curious to see what they end up doing here. This will probably, to me, this is like, is depending on how the school goes, this will be the reason, um, the litmus test on whether or not this deck is, uh, against you, Bell, is, is able to, like, be a little more chunky. So, the infinite me, Bell, makes sense. Go into Unchained Soul Yama, get to the, uh, Unchained Soul Ashina, and now they, and they, so, a fairly uninspired you Bell board, all things considered, not a lot like, not a lot was able to get done there. That Imperm did a bit, a bunch. They weren't really able to do as much as they probably wanted to. So draw into the field spell, activate the level 3. Show the Ben 10, they max C it. Fine. They're not going to be able to summon as much as they did last turn. They activate that. Uh, the field, the Ubel, Phantom of Ubel activates. Level 3's uh, effect changes. They get to the low out. They get the level si uh, 6 Medex Sephira out. And then they chain a uh, Savernia in sequence. That's frustrating. Terra Incarnate probably gets on field now. Yeah, thought so. Uh, they a preparation of rights to get a Ben 10 and the Medex Field Spell back. This allows them to use the two Ben 10s. Two Ben Tens! That's gonna be two searches. Crazy! To get uh, the Skull Guardian out. This will allow them to get a low. Again, they haven't used their normal summon yet. And a Diviner. Um, oh, really? They're deciding to go for the Diviner and the level 4 Libromancer Ritual. Interesting. They get decide to get a Cerevis off of the Skull Guardian, get a level 4 Libromancer from the main deck, uh, send the um, uh, Arc Light to get the Doom Broker, and they use the Field Spells effect, tributing the Herald. Yeah, low is probably what you want to get off the effect of Herald of Buffy, because it's probably the best way to do it. That way you can, you know, you can... Uh, low activates, gets the trap, Doom Broker sets the trap, and the main deck, uh, Libro, is on the field, getting out the, the beater, sacrificing those two to get the Bing Bingus out. And activating that. Okay, we're we're in business. Uh, the effects of the U Bell card is is negated, and this finishes the game. Okay, so there was not a ton of there is only basically one point of interaction here. I'm curious to see if more duels in this video show multiple bits of counterplay. You know. Interesting. So they opened the field spell search or a field spell. They opened emergency teleport, a low, and a diviner. Interesting. So they start lead with diviner, go to Herald of the Arc Light, get the Doom Broker, go into the field spell, get the main deck Libro, get the level, the level six level Libro. And they go into Ling Rebo. Interesting, because that's right, it is technically a Cybers monster. And that allows it to get them back. They tribute the Diviner for the Ritual Summon of Duke Broker. Getting the trap out. Divider, they all activate, getting low out on field, along with the, uh, the Continuous. Alright, they're going into the line to summon the Skull Guardian. Interesting choice using the, uh, the um, low on field. I would have used the one hand. But there might be a purpose for it. Uh, they go into the Dynamoto here. And then into IP Masquerina. Activate the effect of that, get the other Libro Trap, set the one at hand, and call it. They activate Dynamoto's effect to get out the Skull Guardian. This gets out a Voice's Voice as well with an emergency teleport to match. I wonder why they saved that. Oh, it was for the Ghost Ogre. I wonder why. I guess Ghost Ogre is, I guess that is technically a Ghost Ogre target. I don't know why they would put it out, though, unless they were trying to hope for, you know, a, a Synchro next turn, or going into Herald. 
That actually makes it out of our plate, now that I think about it. Holy shit. Alright, we're going against a typical Voiceless Voice deck. It's not, not many points of interaction that they're doing here. This is where they hit that, the, the intervention. Sorry, this is out. They activate the effect of that, they get they bait the ash. So I'm curious about how this would go do, go, do going second in, in a situation like this. Goes over, Snow Rabbit activates. Alright, yep. Tries Hierarchia together, goes into Chaos Angel, but it's just. They can just banish one thing, and they banish the two things. Oh, and they capture. Interesting! And they have fun and scoops after that. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. What are they playing? Okay, they're just playing Nero. Alright, this is alright, this is gonna be a white regardless. Uh Ash Stratos. Ugh, plasma lines, gross. They do always have fucking Bion. Yeah. Well, nope, they're gonna just go through their hero line. Typical shenanigans. DP. Cider. Designator. New hero support. New hero support. Go burn. Sunrise. Near fusion. What are they going without? Wake up, your other It's fucking. Sun. All right. Let's see what they end up doing with that. Again, not a single fucking negate. Yay, cool. Dark Law. Macrocosmos on legs ain't what it used to be. Although, it does kind of fuck them here a little bit. That's, that's what gets you, man. That, that's it. People like us. Let our plates do the talking! I can't wait to check. I don't know what all that was about. There's the Ash. Main deck. Cool. And the Cypher Aid. Fun. Swing low, sweet to you. They're gonna get Sephira. Yeah, that, 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 that makes, that makes character. Bad time in sequence. Okay, so there's options. Not as much non-engine to kind of chew through. This does seem like a much more chewy deck, all things considered. And now they're just doing typical voiceless voice shit, which is fine. So it's good to know that you can still do, like, a voiceless voice line in a pinch, which is cool. Okay, so we got the three voice reports cards online, which is fun. Uh, you're gonna Ash here. Is that worth a negate? Nah, probably not. And there's the Pendulum Craft Dragon. Fun! That's a good thing to save it Ash for. Yeah, this is how I usually beat Ebel. Um, it's usually just like getting, like, out resourcing them before they're able to get their cards going. Uh, let's see.
They're gonna ash that. They're gonna max see that. It's fine. They're gonna put them into Sartex. What fucking pet dead bullshit is this? All right. I'm, I'm gonna keep it a beam. I've seen enough. I need to see the deck list. Damn it, the rest of this. I need to see the deck list. 60 card bile! What? What? Alright. Um. Obviously, the guy's gimmick is enemy controller. Cut that. Um. Hmm. Uh. I would probably replace one of the Ash Blossoms with a ghost with a with a, a ghost mourner. But yeah, this looks like fairly solid. Let's uh let's build it. So let's start with the voiceless voice package. Cause I already have that made. So three low, swing low, sweet chariot. One one uh two skull guardian. Uh, I'll get a star of it here in a second. Um, three of the barrier. So I'm gonna dismantle these two because I'm going to need ultra rares here in a second badly. Um, anything else? We're gonna need the one of trap. And as far as voices, we're going to need three of you, and we're going to Rios Ayarga is going to need a one of that. And on to generic ritual sub, Diviner, the Herald. That's going to be a three of. Also going to dismantle this extra here. Uh, we're going to get... Uh, the arc, arc light, whoever he may be, that's a one of Elder Entity and Tis, your typical Diviner of the Herald package, um, Odd, we're gonna get the Odd Eyes Synchro, I'll buy Synchro here, this one, for to get off of Pendulum Graph. Also, we need to get Pendulum Graph as well. Um, we're also going to get Ben 10. How many of her we need? We need two. Uh, let's get a Ghost. Let's get a Warner's Chill, Ghost Ogre, and Ash Blossom. So again, the reason I do, you know, the I do I like doing these three is because when you brick and you get like, th what, what would you rather have in your hand? One of Ghost Stoker, Ash Blossom, and Ghost Borners, or three Ash Blossoms? Exactly. It's all about ratios. Um. Let's see, we're gonna get the prep. Cards. I get the two of prep and pre prep. Sign it. Sign it. I get the two sign it minings. And I almost forgot. Voiceless. Voice. I also need two of the. Um, Ritual spell. I also need one of the other things. Cool. And that's basically all that. I need a Sarvis here. What's his uh? What was his name? Uh, S A S A U. A one of them. Hand. Good searchable hand trap and voices voice. All right, so we're at thirty four. Um, what else do we need? Big eye. Big eye. Don't forget. Typhon. Uh, 
Don't forget the Link Rebo and Link Rebos. IP. I colon P. Again, Elf. Elf is just stupid. Why is it in this deck? Um, Dynamoto, which is like the best fucking ritual. Like, best fucking like ritual decks. Uh, SP, Little Knight. Because, you know, when you're really in a pinch, Dynamoto and SP Little Knight can help really clear out a board. Uh, Heat. Heat Soul. I guess you could technically make Heat Soul in that in that case. Um and White Woman. That's the extra deck. Uh, let's fill this out with the Libromancer package. Libro Mancer. So I'm gonna. This can be expensive. One, two, three of the main. One, two, three. One of the witch, one of the agent, big boy, Joker. All right. So we're gonna do this one and this one. These are the two that were there. We're also gonna need to grab an impermanence. So I need one, two, ninety, a hundred and fifty UR dust. But otherwise, I think that is not. I'm going to need. Oh, I'm going to need a lot of board dust shit. Fuck you, Chara, man. This is going to be an expensive ass build. This shit better be gas. I swear to God, it better be gas. All right, am I forgetting anything else? No? Only need two of the field spell, thank God. All right, um, let's go. Let's let me go build. Let me go generate some stuff. Okay, the cards have been generated. I also added an extra ghost ogre, extra axe blossom, and extra ghost mourner because why the fuck would I? Also, let's see. Oh, look, I got a free pull. Save and move. Save and move. Save and move. Do you remember the days with Master Duel when if you did that before saving, you would just lose the shit? Wild, right? Anyhow. Fun! Let's hop into a duel real quick. So this is the this is the deck. Uh let's see if I picked up anything through osmosis from that video we watched, shall we? Dr. B. Swap the voice's voice to Holy Nerds! Let's do what happens, shall we? What is that? What the fuck is that? We'll go first. Let me see. Uh, when so you can set one labor answer. It's... All right, so we're gonna lead with origin story. Set a card. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, they wanted to go for the field spell, which we get. And if I remember correctly, they wanted geek boy. We're going to activate the effect of Geek Boy. Show the Odd Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon. Defense. Activate its effect. No interaction so far. We are not going to activate my Ghost Ogre. That would be a fucking dumbass. Add the other uh, field spell to hand, I guess. Uh, activate the effect of Libra Mance of Fire. So then, Graph Dragon. Set. 
Let's fire. To add the Uh, I think if I remember correctly, they want us to go for Doom Bro here. Doom Broker. Uh, this is true. See, then he was just like... Cool. Make the effect of first appearance. Let's just summon... Say... See some Dungeon Graph Dragon's material. It's a little chunk, a little clunky, but it's what it is. So, Doom Broker. Activate Doom Broker's effect. Let's get the negate out. Giggles. Special summon. We really didn't have access to anything in our voice response package at all. Um, we're going to Dino Photo here. And fuck it, we go we we'll go into Dino here. Yeah, sometimes I guess some I guess one of the small issues with the deck is sometimes you just do end up going into the fucking Libromancer package and you're kind of up shit's creek without a fucking battle. Hold on, I got an idea. This is probably a dumbass idea, but you know what? I'll take it. Because because the way I figure, you know, the moment they get a monster out on field, I can spin that shit back with Dynamundo, and then I can also attribute it to get my to get like the Libromancer shit back online. Oh, yuck. I kind of deserve this L. All right, let's let's try that again. <laughs> let's try that again, because I don't know. I didn't. The one big issue I saw with it is I did not see a way to get access to. Um, one of the big issues that I saw that I did is like if you do not have access to the other half of the deck, you're kind of cooked. So this is more um, appropriate. Like this gives me something at all. Um, although my opponent is going first, so we'll see what happens. And they are on Voiceless Voice, so we'll see what ends up happening. They pre-prepped, so that means that they must have a chunky hand. Uh, that's a low. Your opponent's supposed to summon a monster. Full Spell Guardian. It's a Ghost Mourner moment right there.
I don't think they have anything. Oh, yeah, they, that's right. They can search. So they can get the Sephira. Probably add Pendulum Graph. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when you come for me? Yeah, that's a good call. Dogmatica. Interesting. That is a choice. At least I know I'm not going against a guy down a Bundo here. Right, so I am consciously looking at so that pendulum thing bopper, that's gotta go first. So we're gonna bait out and negate here. Not gonna negate it. Back to the effect of the Libra Manson Fire. Show the Ben 10. Right? Cool. So we're on the line. I am completely okay with the effect of that activate. Let's activate. I'm gonna do something very funny. Watch this. This is wholly unnecessary, but I think it is very funny. This basically prevent like I've got a negate up for their trap now, so that's that that's that's very funny. Uh, let's show the Ben Ten again. Activate the Geek Boy. I do not know why they're just letting that shit slide, but you do you, I guess. Activate first appearance. And that's what they decided to hold it out for. Respect. That's fine though. I'm not, I'm not too stressed. Now as far as I'm concerned, we have a open board. So I'm going to prayers of the voiceless voice here. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to use light only. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Mother. That is certainly frustrating. Should have sent the low. I'm a dumbass. Oh well, it is what it is. What can you do? Uh, so 
Fuck it, we're going to the vault, maybe. Hey, pre prep. That's actually that actually might help us out here. Holy shit. We're not. Yeah, we're still kind of covered. It's okay. This is another owl. Alright, I'm going second this time around. That's an ash. Damn, he really wants his spirit skates to get going. Thankfully, we opened Diviner. And that's kind of one of the things I noticed here. If you do not open the Voiceless Voice line or Diviner, like the Libromancers are are a solid are a solid fucking engine, don't get me wrong. It's just they cannot do it on their own. They just cannot do it on their own. It's like bad. Yeah, but it's just, they're just doing your bell things. I'll pause until when it's my turn. One eternity later. And we're back. Lead with... Yeah, but we're, we're so, I'm so fucking cooked here. Um, get the field spell. Spell, let's search the field spell. Let's get a lead with my sponsor. Hand. Let's get fire. Make fire. Guard, skull guardian. God, wouldn't that be nice if it was a novice return? So we're back with the deck, and uh, y'all are 
saying? Because, uh, I wasted about 250 on this shit. 250, uh, you are points. When it goes off, it goes off. I'll give it that, but fuck it. This shit has a, it struggles to get started. Oy. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing and a dollar a month is a food to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you and have a great day.